And I do have a cup holder for this big one too, but it's being glued. Uh, a leg of it came off and I re-glued it and it's over there drying. And yes, I am using these fantastic spatulas that I got off of Timu. They're like the ones you get with J. Diction or T. Expert Resin. And I absolutely love these because you can almost get every speck of resin out of your cups with these. And I will show you in just a second what I'm talking about. And yes, I do this every time because resin's expensive. I get every little tiny bit I can out of there. You see that cup? You can hardly even tell there's resin in there. That's how good these are. Okay. Now I did 30 and 30, which is 60 mils. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do and have enough to do every one of those. But I'll have enough to, to do several of them and then that way it'll tell us how good the detail actually is because I mean the detail looks phenomenal on this mold and I just want to see if it's as good as I think it's going to be And I always mark my A's and B's. That way, if I need more resin, I can use the same cup. I don't have to spray it down and make sure it's cleaned every time. Okay. And I'm going to stir. And yes, I do have it on this. And yes, it, it, it does get quite warm, y'all. So I can move that off of there. We do not need that. And I don't know if you can even see this because my hand's in the way. But these are great for mixing. They're great for scraping to get all your resin out. Because they scrape the sides and the bottom. And that's what you want when you're mixing your resin. To make sure you don't have any A or B stuck to the sides. You want it all mixed together. And it's, you know, with your tools, your tools make it easier on you. If you've got the right tools, the mixing's not hard. If you've got the right tools, the pouring is not hard. The, the curing's not hard. It's just all about the type of tools that you have. It doesn't mean you got to have all this to do resin. Not at all. But when you do have the right tools, it does make it a lot easier on y'all. And there are bubbles. But that looks really clear to me. I don't know if you can see that. But I am going to mix a little bit more. I am going to be mixing the mica in here. And since these are fairly thin, uh, it's probably going to take a while. I'm looking for a spoon. I don't want to dump this out. Because I don't want the whole jar. 
at that. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. I know I want a little bit more than that. So, two spoonfuls. That's what I put in. I'm going to pick it up so I can scrape the edges. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. But I'm scraping the edges because I want to get every bit of that mica powder too. I want to make sure but this mica powder is really good and uh, mixed up. Oh, that's a pretty color. Oh, look at there. Look at that color. That is gorgeous. Okay. Now what I am going to do. Yeah, I'm getting all of it off of this. I'm going to set that right there. And I'm going to wipe my glove off. Now, I ordered medium this time. These are larges, and I'm hoping they'll fit me a little bit better. But what I am going to do, because I want to be able to do this, I'm going to transfer some of that. But before I do that, I'm taking my alcohol, and I, I am spraying alcohol down in this. Now, you say, oh, wow, Beth, that's a lot. It is. And that's what I'm doing. I'm shaking it out. I need alcohol on here anyway because I needed to clean it off. A little bit, so... Okay. Okay, I had to reset this. Okay. Now I'm going to pour some in here. A little bit at a time. And I'm going to do it a little bit higher up. Because I don't want those air bubbles. Because this has got all those little fine. Little fine. Look there. Look at that little bitty spot right there. I'm making sure that I, I don't want to overfill. I much rather not have to clean my molds if I don't have to. I'm real bad about overfilling, though, y'all. That's why I'm trying to be real careful with this one. Oh, 
I think I mixed up way too much resin. Oh, this is soothing right here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm pouring a little bit more in. I'm not pouring a whole lot at a time, though. Because the less you have in, the the easier it is to control these little cups. I want to make sure I get it all the way to the top, though. Okay, we have another one of these. I don't know what those are. If y'all know what these are, let me know. Are they supposed to be like chipboards or something? You know, I don't know. Okay, Lauren. Yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> You're the tech person. Tell me what they are. I'm going to give it a minute to go in there. And then I may add some more. Oh, the postman's here, which means I've got more stuff from Amazon. I got Let's Resin Neon Mica Colors. It was a set of 10 of them. And I'm real excited about trying those out. And yes, that was a Black Friday deal. And then I got the J Diction uh, Chrome Markers. I've never used them before. I don't know how good they are. But they were on a Black Friday also. And they did have good... See, I just made a mess there. They did have good reviews uh, on the Facebook page. So I thought I'd get them and try them and let y'all know. If they are good or not. Oh, this is lovely. Hope y'all are enjoying watching this as much as I am pouring it. Because this is just... This is actually very, very relaxing. And oh, those pumps, it took m so much work out of getting that resin out of there. It really, really did. Now, I made way, way too much gold or bronzy resin. I'll have to find something else to pour. And I was afraid I wouldn't have enough to pour it all. And see, now I'm getting in too big of a hurry. It's because I'm afraid that this resin's going to start getting thick on me. But I don't know. I don't want to do the cupcake in this. The cupcake's ready to go, but I guess I should have left some clear out so I could have done the cupcake. Oh, that's way too much right there. I'm going to suck some of that out. With the the pipettes. That's what I like to call them. And yes, before anybody corrects me, I know they're pipettes. But I like to call them pipettes. I think that sounds better. And yes. It sort of makes me think of Pippi Longstocking. And yes, I did watch her as a child. And my daughter watched her as a child. And yes, I am a big fan of Pippi Longstockings. The 
Is that it? Oh, yes, that is it. Oh, my. What else am I going to be doing with... Uh, I don't know what else to do with... I have so much. Okay. I have these crosses here. I guess I could... Do these crosses. Hmm. Gold wings. Should I do gold wings? I guess I am going to do gold wings. <sighs> I can make wings into steampunky. If I need to. I did not spray those with alcohol, though. Which I hope that doesn't mean I'm going to have... ...bubbles. Okay, way too much in that. Way, way too much. Let's see, do I have a... Pip it up here, I do. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I think that's the only one I really have to worry about. Uh, oop, see I'm making a mess now, I'm going to have to clean that up. I just got a little bit too much. in there so i'm getting that out and that's gotten so much it's not picking up anymore so let me find another one oh, i don't think i have any more out here <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I think everything else is pretty good, huh? Maybe a little bit. Yep. Maybe a little bit. Yep. Okay, yeah, you gotta be able to see the Okay, I think I got it all so now we need to find some other things before this resin gets hard. And yes, I'm cleaning my mess up. Oh, this is stuck. That's stuck. That's not going to go anywhere. So we're going to have to move that over here. Is that good and clean? That one's not either. That's okay. I can use it for personal. I don't want the resin to go to waste. And it's starting to get thick, as you can tell. So I need to get it in something yeah you see how I did real good and then when I had to pour it out of that one okay we got another one of those Now if I have enough for both of these or not, but we will try. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I know my hands are probably in the way, and I apologize for that. I do have a little bit left in the cup. At least I'll have everything ready to go when my clock mold does come in. And if I get a bunch of them made prior to, then I can just uh, make some steampunk coasters. I overflowed that again, didn't I? I think I've used just about every.
drop of the resin than I can. Alrighty. Well, I will be back when this is ready and we will demold. See you in a few. It won't turn off. Hi, y'all. We're back. And I think they're ready to go. I did try the newer gloves because they're size medium. Oh, and they fit so much better. They do. So, size medium is what I really need. Uh, just to let y'all know. Okay. I don't know if this is ready, but we're going to try it. I've never poured this mold before. So I don't know what to expect. Oh, it's still bendy. Oh, but look at the detail. There's good detail on this. It comes out easy enough. Oh, that's still bendy. I don't know. No, if that's going to come out or not. See how bendy that is? <laughs> oh, and this is a mat. That's a mat. Yeah, this is not shiny. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Look at that one, though. Look at that. That's not coming out. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, now I want to make it come out because it's weird. Oh, yeah, that's goopy. Look at there, y'all. That's the first time I've ever had resin do that. Look at that. Goopy. Okay, we're going to leave that in. Ooh, this is two. Okay, I don't know if I like this mold or not. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Guys, have you ever had a mold do that? Well, <gasps> look. Oh, it felt hard when I took it off of there. That one's hard. Okay, that's odd. This is just odd. Okay. I don't like the fact that this is... Uh, oh, look at that. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never had resin do this before. I think of those, uh, oh, what were, they used to be toys, um, where they would stretch. What were those called? Um, yeah, I'm taking this stuff out because I don't want to wait. And, okay, well, I don't like this mold. Goopy. Look at that. We'll turn that into something else. Maybe they weren't ready, but those came out fine. So I don't know. I don't know. I've never had it so where... See, it acts like it wants to come out, but then it's stuck right there. I don't know. We'll put that over there, and we won't bother it until it's ready to come out. Oh, no. This is this is the same. This stuff is not ready to come out, y'all. Or maybe it's the resin, because this is new resin. 
<laughs> Look at that, y'all. Okay. Look at that. I've never, in the whole time I've done resin, have I ever had this happen. Now, I did use the Let's Resin uh, casting resin. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> oh, my. I'm stinking it on this big old thing over here. <laughs> oh, it's just sticking to my gloves. I mean, majorly sticking to my gloves. Look at that. Yeah, I'm trying to get this out of here. Um, yeah, it's, I, I gotta, I gotta get new gloves on. This may not be ready to come out, y'all. But it's been on the, uh, the heat mat for two hours. So, if it's not ready to come out, then that tells me this resin's different. And if this resin's different from the, I thought that was the same resin as the one I used in the smaller. It's not deep pour. Hmm. Okay, this definitely is not ready to come out. But see, when I did, when I did that, it didn't leave any marks. Hmm. So I don't know. See? I don't know. But do I try? Oh, wow. Okay. That's an overpour. You're not supposed to have that stuff right there. But I'll wait for it to get hard. Hard, hard. Yeah, this is... Oh, no. See, that's cool. Okay. Yep. I get excited over the, the silliest things. You can feel the ridges. Look at that. Look at that little flat head. You see, now this is coming out of this mold. It's weird. That's a weird looking key. I don't know. All the flat head pieces. Yeah, I put the other, the bigger ones on again. That's the floor. Phillips head. These are cool. I like this mold. I do like this mold. Another key.
Oops, head. I like being able to make my own steampunk stuff. I actually have the pipe and I have the the metal background sheets um, and I have the compass which I will be pouring all that to use in the clock when it comes in I hope it comes in I hope it's not lost and wherever lost packages go. Oh, that's just a, a piece of resin, but I want to keep that over here. I think I could use those pieces too. I think they're cool looking. These little round pieces. Okay, and all we have are these. I still... These like computer boards or... Chip, I don't know what those things are. Does anybody have a clue to what those things are? They have to be cleaned up because there's a lot of... I don't know what those are. And then, again, this is a matte. This is a matte mold also. So, see how shiny it is there? It's not shiny on the front side. I need to clean that and I just don't understand see that one came out fine that is just odd And so did that one. So, why did that one get so weird? And this one did too. So, is it where it was at on the heat mat, maybe? I don't know. Because, see? Look at the goop. I mean, literally. But now it's hard. It was goop. And some of it still is goop. Hmm. I don't know what the answer is unless maybe it is where it was located on the heat mat. But I have never had a piece do that before. Um, it has always... When one of it felt like it was done, they were all that way. So this is something new uh, for me. And I'm sitting here. Y'all can't see me, but I'm sitting here real fast scraping off the, the little bit of resin that's on my uh, heat mat. Only because I'm OCD, and y'all should know that by now. I just don't like having anything that's not supposed to be on here on here.
and it's probably going to drive me bonkers having that in that mold until it, it uh, hardens. So I will probably put it somewhere where I can't see it. And that way I won't worry about it out of sight, out of mind. And I do want to show you, because I did check the mail, the J. Dixon markers did not come in. They are, they are considered late. They're telling me that I should get them uh, tomorrow. Uh, they were shipped off. Same time the uh, the micas were from Amazon, but they didn't get here today, so I can't show you those. But I can show you the the let's resin. Uh, let me set this over here. I can show you these. And these are new for me. They may not be for you, but there's, it's 12 colors. I thought it was 10. And it's neon powder. I want you to see these. Look at that green. That's amazingly deep pink. Can you all see that? Look at that pink. Orange, magenta, look at that, white, neon white, really? There's a neon white, huh? Purple, we're going to have to try some of these. I wonder if they work with UV resin. We might, we might have to try some of those. Look at that. Look at that blue. This is coral. Pink. Those colors are just unreal. Lots of pinks. Look at there. Can y'all see that? This is red. I wonder. I'm going to try that. Real quick. Look at that. Can you see those? Let me turn them upside down. That will work. Lots of pinks. And that's an orange. Yellow. I'm sure it's more blue. There's only one blue and one green, y'all. That's the colors. I do have this one little thing. I wonder if I could UV resin that. I've got that on my wish list. You know that new UV light that they've got out? I think it was Less Resin that did it where it's upside, I mean, not upside down bottom and top and has like a little tray they're on uh, sale right now black friday for $31.99 i want that thing so bad um i haven't bought it yet i put it on my wish list um and i don't know how long it's going to be on black friday sale um uh, i'll probably end up going in there and getting it because i do want it and and i think that i would use it um, I try not to buy anything that I don't think that I would use, except for molds. I, I know there's going to be a lot of molds that I don't use, um, but that's, that is not going to be a waste. Um, I can always do, uh, giveaways and stuff with those, uh, when time comes, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, I'm trying to think if I could use I don't know we could just do a bright color cupcake right it doesn't have to be uh, 
pink frosting. With an orange bottom, or we could do coral. That's more in the color, or we could do yellow, but that would look weird. Okay. We're, we're going to do, we're going to do pink and orange. Why not? Right. And I am pulling down my UV right there. Yeah, this was not going to be part of the video. And I don't know how long this video is, but hopefully it's... Oh, Lord, it's an hour and 25 minutes, y'all. Should I do this? Or should I wait for another video? I'm going to go ahead and do it. I started it. I'm going to do it. Uh, I'll do it really fast. If I can find the UV resin. Just to sort of show you. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, it's not mixing in with the UV resin real good. But I want to keep mixing it. Okay, and then I'm going to sort of just paint a really fine layer on this right now. I just want to sort of show you what the colors look like basically is what I'm doing I know this mold is a lot thicker and no I'm not going to fill this thing up all the way with UV resin But I just sort of want to show you what these neon micas look like from Let's Resin because I just thought they were the coolest looking micas. I've not had the neon color micas, so, you know, maybe y'all have and it's no big deal to you. Okay, I'm going to just put that in, and I'm going to turn this around this way, so the UV, whoop. So the UV light's going that way. Is it not plugged in? Oh, it's not even plugged in. Okay.
Now it's plugged in. Okay. While that's doing that, we will mix up this other one. I'm cleaning the brush out. Okay. And I made way too much of this up. Okay. I'm trying to get enough on here to cover that up. Without it going down, which it did right there. I don't want it to do that. if at all possible. I'm wanting to get the tips. So I guess maybe do this and then get it up underneath the, the lamp real quick. And while, why, <clears throat> while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna try something with these new markers. I'm going to just see what the gold looks like. 
which I'm going to have to clean a lot of this up. That's bronze. Can you all see this? Hmm. Let's try something. Boy, this is really rough. So I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Wow, the detail is incredible on this mold right here. I mean, it is just... Can you see? Oop. Yeah, I've got the bigger gloves on, which normally I wouldn't be doing this with gloves on. And yes, it most definitely makes it harder. But I'm wondering if this teal color... I'm wondering if I can make it. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, indeedy. Can you see what I'm doing here? Do you see how it's just adding a little bit of the greenish looking? I didn't want it there. I wanted it inside. I'm a happy camper because I just I just got markers where I can I can make something look old and that I'm very very happy about make it look rusted with some patina I don't know if y'all can see that, but oh, that's the coolest thing ever. I keep wiping that off. That's okay. You see what I'm doing? Oh, this is just, oh, I am happy about that. Because that's what I was going to do with this key. I was going to see if I couldn't. And 
And yes, indeedy, I can. I most definitely can. Because of these gloves, I'm getting more than what I wanted off, but you can see what I'm doing and how you go about doing it, and you just play around with it. But oh, you see. I hope you can see. You take something from just that to something that looks like that. And it just steps it up a couple of notches. And it's so easy to do. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this is doing. Sorry about my arm. I gotta get the the orange off. Okay, we're gonna make the pink a little bit deeper. I don't have a whole lot, but we're gonna pour what I've got in here. Push it over. Something black. Okay, we're going to put it back in there. Okay. Let's get the gold. The one that I guess this is gold. I want to see what it does. Looks green. Why does it look green? Do y'all see that? Yeah, it's still really bendy. If I like that gold or not. But see, you can make this look old too. Same way. And I have to clean this up. Um, Yeah, there's just, oh, yeah, see, these markers are going to be fun, fun, fun for me. Lots and lots of fun. And I'm just doing this while I'm waiting for the, uh, 
UV resin. This is going to be a long video, y'all. Of course, you can fast forward. That's just me. That's what I do. I don't do voiceovers. I don't do fast forward. I just don't. I don't like videos that way. And so I sort of like. I, I make my videos the way that I sort of. Like to watch them too. You know. Not everybody's the same. See, look at that. Just something that tiny makes a difference. There you go. And I can put it right there. I can put it right there. There's just so much you can do with this stuff. Okay, let's see if this is... Let's see if I can get a little bit more of the orange. Okay, we're going to throw it in here. When I get done with that, I will be back. Hi, guys. We're back. Okay. I finished the little cupcake. Uh, it was a matte mold. I used some new markers that I got to put, like, little uh, sprinkles on the cupcake. And then I covered it with UV resin. This whole thing is UV resin. I put a little sprinkle on the back just so the back would be sort of cool too because I'm going to turn this into a key ring. So that that's cute. And that was really quick to do and very easy. And I love, I love these markers. I wanted to show you these. Now, you see that, how I, I aged it, and see the wings? Let me take my gloves off, and I'll pick this stuff up and let you see it closer. You see how you can take those two little markers, and you can patina it. And you can make things look old and rusty very, very, very easily. Now, this one I haven't done anything to yet. 
This one I did a little bit too. This one I did a little bit too. But you can you can see in this little screw. But I absolutely, absolutely have fallen in love with this mold and those markers. It is so, so simple to use. And and I have I won't ever have to buy any steampunk stuff because this is not the only mold I have. And I will be getting those out and showing you. Now, this is the the little stand. I use these a lot. Uh, these are wonderful. You can put little coasters on and, and turn them into little mini plates. You can do square coasters and turn them into a picture. You can take a square coaster, put a picture of your pet or your family or your grandchild, and and make it like a little picture frame. Uh, there's just so many things you can do with coasters and this little stand. This little stand turns a coaster into a, a, a picture frame or a mini plate. Um, these would be really cute. Actually inserted in something too. So, you know, there's just so much you can do. Oh, this is my glob. Now this is not totally dry, but this is my glob. <laughs> that is that is what it looks like a glob all righty this is such a long video it's almost a two-hour video and y'all you know you can fast forward through the parts you don't want to see i want to say thank you so much for watching my videos please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button um can you see it thumbs up yep and uh, if you liked it, uh, please share it with someone else so, so they can see it too. And if you've not subscribed, please do so. Go down to where the cat is and hover over it and hit that subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. 